Um, hi, in this section, we're going to be taking a look at the main file formats that Gamebrio uses to store its data. Uh, also, I'm going to take a quick peruse through the samples directory uh, so that um, the artist can have a, a good feel of where the samples are. Um, so the main format that all assets are stored in uh, with Gamebrio is called a NIF file. And that basically contains all the geometric data. Um, and it can also contain embedded texture data um, as well as embedded animation data. So if we double click on here this NIF file, the skeleton guy, it will launch up our default viewer which is called asset viewer and we can take a quick look and see that, um, that we have a skeleton here and this is all his geometric data. We can take a look at him in wireframe. Um, <clears throat> Animation data can as well uh, be stored in a NIF file. If we double click on here, this is a, a very simple particle system. And if we hit play, we can see we've got some animation data here uh, as well. This also has embedded textures. Uh, if a NIF file shows up pink, that means that the textures are, have been saved uh, external. The second type of file format um, that Gamebrio uses is called a KF file. And this is where you have a situation where you want to extract animations into separate files. Usually the case, uh, this is the case for characters. Uh, this is called a KF file or a keyframe file. The third type of file format is called a keyframe manager file or .kfm. And this file is mainly used by animation tool to set how the different KF files blend together. Um, and the last type of file format is called a .gsa. Um, and that's a scene designer file format. And that's basically an XML style format, um, which is used to uh, place multiple NIF files um, together. Uh, so if we actually look at um, a GSA file, we can uh, open this with a, say, notepad. And we can see that it's, very, it's really just a simple uh, ASCII file format and contains where um, different NIF files are and what their transforms and rotations and scales are, et cetera. So those are the main um, three file, or excuse me, four file formats uh, that Gamebrio works with, the main one being NIF. And if we go really quickly into the Gamebrio folder structure, uh, we can really uh, quickly see that there's a, there's a samples folder, and this has all of the examples uh, that Gamebrio ships with, and we ship with quite a bit. Uh, so if it's a... Uh, so if, you're, if you're wondering on how to do something, one of the first places to take a look is in the samples folder. The samples folder uh, is broken out into a few uh, main sub subtypes of, of samples. Uh, there's demos, which are, are mainly small applications that show how to do one specific um, type of trick or another. Uh, so if we go in there, um, we can see that there's quite a few and they are very specific. There's ones that show how to do picking. There's one that shows how to do cube maps, for example. Um, then there's full demos, which are a little bit larger, more game-like demos, which show how to do um, a combination of different effects together and are, are kind of more of a marketing um, uh, example um, or a good launching off point. Uh, and then there's models, which are not executables, but they're actually just examples, um, artist examples. So there's Max artist examples. There's Maya artist examples. Uh, if we go in here, again, these are very specific. Uh, they show really, really specific things, you know, how to do a decal map, how to do an environment map. Um, so again, this is a good place to, to take a look uh, if, you're, if you're looking, wondering on how to do something. Uh, the exact same thing is with the, true with the Maya artist examples. Um, and then there's animation tool examples, which show how to set up different uh, animations and uh, how to how to uh, use uh, the KF and the KFM files, etc. And then there's a few scene designer examples which have um, the GSA files in them, um, and also the the data files that they use. So here's some uh, some NIF files. Um, I think that's a that's the basic overview right there of the folder structure. 